how to use press permit in conjunction with the edit flow plugin to regulate permissions for an editorial workflow. This requires the press permit core plugin and also the PP custom post statuses extension plugin and the PP collaborative editing pack extension plugin. Those are a part of the press permit pro package. For the sample library site I've registered a custom post type called local news. Make sure both Edit Flow and Press Permit are configured to use this post type. The Press Permit settings are located on the Permissions menu and Settings. Click on the Core tab and confirm that the post type is selected for filtering. For the Edit Flow settings, click on Custom Statuses. Hit the Options tab and confirm that your post type is checked. If you go back to the Permissions menu, and click on Post Statuses, then Moderation, you'll see that Press Permit recognizes the edit flow statuses of Pitch, Assigned, and In Progress as Post Moderation statuses. Approved is a custom status which Press Permit adds automatically. Needs Work, Rejected, and Recommended are custom statuses that I manually defined for this site. Using Press Permit, we can customize users' ability to set posts to any of these statuses or to edit posts of that status. In this example, we'll configure multi-step post moderation as follows. High school students, indicated by their membership in a custom-defined permission group, will pitch news ideas. Teachers will respond to that pitch by setting the post status to either assigned or rejected. If the news is assigned, the student writes the news and then submits it for review. After that submission, a teacher may set the post status to needs work, at which point the student would resume editing and then resubmit. Once the teacher is satisfied with the news content, they can set the post status to recommended. Library staff can examine the recommended news and then set the post status to either needs work or approved. Finally, a library manager can review the approved news post and either publish or delete it. Let's begin by giving students the permissions they need to submit news. Under the Permissions menu, click Groups. Then click to edit the high school students group. On the Add Supplemental Roles tab, select the local news post type and the contributor role. Assigning the local news contributor role for standard statuses will allow group members to create local news and set the status to draft or pending. Students will also need the ability to set post status to pitch, but under the default configuration, the contributor role does not support setting a post to a custom moderation status. Instead, we need to select the submitter role with a post status of pitch. Finally, although the students will not be able to set post status to assigned or needs work, they will need the ability to edit news which has been set to those statuses. So let's give them a local news contributor role for the post statuses of assigned and needs work. After completing your selections, don't forget to click the Save button. The student permissions have been saved. Now let's set permissions for the teachers. Again, adding supplemental roles, select the local news post type, and we'll give teachers an editor role for the local news statuses of pitch, assigned, recommended, and needs work. This will allow them to set posts to any of those statuses or edit news posts which are already at that status. Now we set the library staff member permissions. Select the post type of local news and the editor role. Library staff will need the ability to review news which has been recommended and also to change the status to needs work or approved. Finally, we set permissions for our library managers. On the Add Supplemental Roles tab, Select the post type of local news, a role of editor, for standard statuses. 
Don't forget to click Save. Now our local news submission and moderation permissions are all set. Let's log in as a student and pitch some news. To pitch this story as newsworthy, the student clicks the Edit link in the Publish Meta box and changes the status to Pitch. Then, click the Save as Pitch button. The student decides to pitch a second story in case this one is rejected. The editorial comments and editorial metadata metaboxes are provided by the Edit Flow plugin. In the future, this metadata may be set read-only for users who cannot set the assign post status, but right now it's visible and editable by all users in this moderation sequence. Now let's log in as the teacher who will review these news pitches. Before logging in as this teacher, I went back in as an administrator and activated two more post-moderation statuses, Rejected and Deferred. I then gave the teachers group supplemental local news editor roles for each of these statuses. Let's log in as the student who just learned that his local news pitch has been assigned. The student can re-save the post, retaining the assigned status, and when ready, submit it for review. In this example, the submitted news can be reviewed by the same teacher who assigned it, or a different teacher. Clicking the Set Recommended button is equivalent to selecting the recommended status in the drop-down. Now that this local news has been recommended by a teacher, Let's log in as a library staff member who will review it for possible publication on the website. Now that the post has been approved, the student will not be able to edit it further. The news is still not published, so let's log in as a library manager and perform that final moderation. This news has been carried through an elaborate moderation sequence, powered by WordPress post statuses, edit flow, and press permit. Now, the whole world can learn about the journey.